Okay, well tomorrow we put everything on the truck. We had to have everything wrapped in plastic and labeled. So as we go through the the garage, everything that we're taking has to be wrapped and labeled. So that's our new address. Not much of an address, but that's it. We don't get mail, there's no postal service. So anything that we order or that someone wants to send us, we have to have it sent to the shipping company. And when they get 25 pounds or more, they'll ship it to us. We go down to the municipal dock and pick it up. But that's it. I'll walk through the house real quick and show you how empty it is. So the new owners bought a lot of our furniture. So a lot of that stays. But all of our rugs, that's actually a TV wrapped in pillows. We're taking that because it's wrapped in plastic. We used bar stools and put them together and taped them together to make a crate. Uh, that bar stool crate has a guitar in it. This one, I don't remember what it has in it. But you go look at box 243 and it'll give you a complete rundown. Shrink wrapped our clothes. Everything is gone. Those are going to be going. All the cupboards are bare. Pantry's empty. Well, for the most part. Considering what it usually looks like, this is pretty empty. <laughs> Patio furniture, we broke down what we could, wrapped it. Chairs won't break down, but barbecue's going. The office. Back there is all empty, the shelves. And that's what we take with us on the plane. Everything else goes bye-bye. Hopefully we'll see it again. We are about done. So this has been a long process. We started this whole process about a year ago. Sold all of our books or gave them away. We still have a few train pieces left that we gotta sell, but for the most part they're all gone. And this furniture stays. <clears throat> Our sectional. 
That's a section, that's a section, and that's a section. TV stays, or a DVD shelf, refrigerator, microwave, they stay. That's it, that's the house, our empty house. No more pictures on here. Bathroom's all empty. Towels are all gone. Okay, so uh, they come out today to uh, they come out today to go through our stuff and see if they can get it all to fit in a uh, 26 long. 26 foot long truck. I've reserved two trucks because I think he's up in the night. I don't think we can get all this in one 26 foot long truck. But he thinks he can. He's been doing this for 20 years, so what do I know? So we'll trust to them and have a backup plan just in case. Oh, I didn't show you this room. Everything gone. <clears throat> but there's just too much. I mean, I've got a side-by-side -side upstairs that we need to put in a truck. We've got a, two wave runners on trailers that we're going to tow behind. But the amount of stuff in this garage alone is more than a 26-foot truck. So I think he's going to find that we need two, so I've reserved two. Um, we load, start loading it up Saturday, tomorrow morning. 9 a.m. we pick up the trucks. And uh, send them off. Hopefully, we'll see them again in a couple months. So, uh, until then, see you next episode. Say hi, honey. Hi.